Welcome to another edition of Technology in Two Minutes, maybe a little bit more. Uh, today we're going to learn how to use Google Maps to return the latitude and longitude of a specific site or address uh, that you might have. This is extremely useful if you have to map a site or many sites uh, in GIS because GIS can read the latitude and longitude and uh, easily plot it on the map. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch Internet Explorer uh, and we're going to go to the Google home page and specifically the maps page. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we're going to supply Google Maps with an address and luckily here I have something that I'm interested in uh, it's a middle school, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this. I know it's in San Clemente. And it's always good to put um, the state that you're in, otherwise sometimes Google Maps gets a little confused. So we'll go ahead and search the map. It found it. It's right there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And for this exercise, I want to make sure and look at the satellite image um, to make sure that it's plotting in the correct location. So I click on satellite. I X out of this. I don't need this bubble. I can also maximize my view pane so I can hide this panel. And this is where it's plotting the middle school. Now, I can right click anywhere on this map and it will pull back the latitude and longitude. So if I am interested in this middle school location, I can right click right here and I drop down to what's here. I'll click on that and all of a sudden I have the uh, latitude and longitude. Um, and then it kind of gives me the address. This address information, I should say, is not 100%, but the latitude and longitude is the location of this uh, point right here. If I have uh, another school I'm interested in or another site, I can easily copy and paste that and kind of the same uh, directions apply. I can hit, you know, specify the city that I'm in and the state and it'll return a whole bunch of results. I want the top one right here and I'm going to make sure and zoom in towards so I can see A. Now this is where it's really important to make sure you have the satellite image on because as you can see it's showing this elementary school right in the middle of a housing track. Now I know that the elementary school is right here. So that's one of the main reasons why you want to see the satellite image just as a visual comparison so you can get the right location. Again, the same thing applies. You right click on the map. You hit what's here. It will give you the latitude and longitude of that site plus the address. Again, the address and information is estimated, but the latitude and longitude is, is correct. A better way to set this up is if you set it up in an Excel um, uh, workbook first. So here I have the name of the business that I'm interested in, the address, the city, and I'm trying to find the latitude and longitude uh, in two different columns. Uh, this works great because it can easily stream right into GIS and, and be mapped uh, extremely uh, easily and, and efficiently. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm interested in this Kmart site, and so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the cells. So Kmart, address, and city. I'm going to copy, put this in Google Maps. I'll go ahead and make sure I put the state in. So comma CA, hit search maps. And it'll return a whole bunch of Kmarts, but the one I'm interested in is A, and I can verify the address, 2505, 2505 Bell Road. I can now uh, zoom in, and I can right-click anywhere I want, 
hit what's here, it will grab the latitude and longitude. I can now highlight this. I can hit copy, control C, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it into Excel. You may need to do a little bit of formatting here, uh, but it's not much. And we'll go ahead and remove that comma. And there you go. Um, the longitude is always going to be a negative number, and the latitude is always going to be a positive number, at least in California. And that's it.